Audio Jungle. My name is Asya and this video we will discuss on the title which is Workers' Welfare. In brief, we will be focusing the elements on which workers' welfare is concerned which we extract from some compilation of journal articles. Worker is a person who commit themselves by doing or a right to do something. Next word is welfare. According to Dr. M. Vera Salam, 2014, welfare is well doing or well being in all aspects of happiness and common blessings of life and away from harmful and undesirable things. Now we know the individual meaning of workers and welfare. In short, Worker's welfare is the concern on workers' well-being to be fulfilled by the one who are responsible of them and the condition they are in which they are affected. Worker's effort is equal to jihad. Why? Because worker has sacrificed for Allah, then he get reward by Allah provided his niyah is true. This worker is considered as a mujahid. Employer responsible to act just to its worker they hire. According to Surah al nahl verse 19, Allah commands justice, the doing of good and generosity towards fellow man and he forbids all shameful deeds and injustice as well as envy. According to Rosanna Abdurrahman 2006, Basis of employer's duty to provide safe and healthy place by making sure the workplace are protected as much as the workers are free from ill treatment by the employer and the workplace must become conducive for workers to earn their livings. Employers must give only the work that the worker can bear. In Surah Al-A'raf, verse 42, And God makes no one labor, but he who can be bear it, or has the energy. From a hadith, Prophet reported that do not charge the laborer by giving work that is beyond his ability. Sahih Bukhari. Workers are indeed to be treated fairly by the employer regardless of age, age, and nationality. Because employer must give equal rights towards all the workers. Only then justice will be achieved. An act that realized this purpose has been done by Labor Union, National Labor Relations Act 1935, which is to defend workers from exploited, create benefit to workers and provide an acceptable and reasonable working condition. According to Beth Malinowski, 2015,
major contributions to the inclination of the labor union were the wars and depression back in the days. The labor union successfully raised the wage, threatened the long working hours, and managed to fight for supplemental benefits. And according to Sam in 2010, the building of a healthy environment leads to strong health. It applies to all workers, either the foreigner or local, where their voices are heard, and any persuasion can be channeled to the labor union. With this, all workers can do their work in a much better environment in their workplace. Not place. In labor union, Islam assures the employees to be kind and give a hospitable condition for the good of the workers. Islam also encourages labor union in the system. There is not much difference between conventional and Islamic. Islamic labor union also fight for In conclusion, Neither conventional nor Islamic perspectives disregard any human aspects. The only thing we want is the best for the world. Islam has said that every Muslim is brother purpose for every worker and employee. They must be cooperative, especially while at work. Workers work diligently and employees should be compensate wages according to the job done by the workers. <laughs>